Hey everyone, Susie here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm back and my voice is starting to come back. I'm definitely still not sounding like myself and I still have this weird like tone to my voice that wasn't there before, but at least you can understand me and I'm able to actually talk now without choking up and without sounding like a squeaky door or something. But I am back today and I wanted to film a video because like I was saying in my last video, so behind on filming because I've been sick. I was literally sick for like a week and a half, just super sick, not feeling well, no voice, coughing constantly. So I'm finally starting to feel better and I really wanted to film this video today because the other day I was trying out the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Concealer. Wanted to try it out and I had this idea and I was like, what is really the right way to apply concealer? Some people apply it first before they even apply their foundation. Some people apply their concealer after the foundation and then, you know, follow up with the rest of their routine. So what is really the right way? Which way really looks the best? I don't know that there's really a right way because there's many different ways to do many different things. And I think as long as the end result is the same, you know, you're getting the coverage that you want, you like how you look, it doesn't really matter which way you put anything on and it doesn't matter whether you do it first or after but I just kind of wanted to see from a you know perspective point of view does it really make a difference as far as covering up dark circles or covering up any dark spots does it make a difference whether you do it one way or the other so that's what I'm trying out today and I hope you guys will try it out with me all right so I got my moisturizer this is my Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer. It's actually been doing really well for me. It's nice and light, it doesn't feel greasy. And here in Florida during the day especially, it's way too hot <laughs> to like lather on your skincare. It's just too much. I know that, you know, skincare is very important and I definitely need to moisturize my skin. But when I'm out during the day, it is way too much. Like it's just way, way too hot to be applying heavy, heavy moisturizers. So this oil-free moisturizer is nice. It has my SPF in it and it's very light, sinks into the skin super fast and does the job without having me feel like a grease pit later in the day. So for my concealer, I am gonna be using the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken. 5-in-1 Concealer, and this is in shade 015, and the shade is light. So, I'm going to start by doing one eye with the concealer first, and then the other eye I'm going to do after my foundation, and we'll see if it makes a difference and if it wears differently. So, going ahead and do this eye with the concealer first. So, I'm going to apply... concealer and then I'll do just my dark spot here all right so I got that done so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out so how do you guys apply your concealer do you do it first or do you do it after foundation just curious I usually always used to do it um, after my foundation, but recently I've been kind of liking the look of doing it before my foundation. I feel like it kind of covered my dark circles a little bit better. And so I've been doing it that way and I've been really liking the look that I'm getting. So I guess it just kind of depends on your personal preference. Let's go ahead and do our foundation. And I am using a damp beauty blender. And this is my Revlon Age Defying Three Times Foundation in Tender Beige. So I'm going to apply it all over. And 
and blend it out. All right, and I'm only applying to half right now just because I wanted to see how it was looking. All right, let's do the other side. All right, so I got that applied. So right now, I don't notice too much of a difference on the outer edge, but here on the inner edge, you can definitely tell that it looks brighter already with my, you know, eye here that has the concealer. And this one doesn't. You can tell that in the inner corner, it does look much brighter. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer on my other eye after the foundation. Right now it's looking very light under this eye compared to the other eye. And I feel like maybe a little bit harder to blend out. So let's see the difference. This is the side with the foundation first and concealer second. This is the side with the concealer first and then the foundation. So I feel actually like this side where I applied my foundation first and the concealer second actually does look brighter. I feel like it definitely has a brighter look to it and it kind of like brings my face upward a little bit, especially my eye. I feel like I just look a little bit more awake on this side, whereas this side, I feel like I don't look quite as awake, but I feel like it is blended out better. So I don't know, which one do you guys think looks better? The side with the concealer first? or the side with the foundation first. I guess it just kind of depends, you know, do you really need extra brightness under the eye? Or do you want it to look a little bit more flawless, a little bit more blended out? I don't know. I guess it could go either way really, but I think I kind of prefer the side that's more blended out. I just feel like it looks a little bit more cohesive. It looks a little bit better. I've never been a fan of baking under the eye because I think it just kind of makes you look a little bit cartoony. I don't know. I just don't like that look, but I kind of like this side a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm probably going to continue doing it, my concealer first, then my foundation. I just really like, and look, like the look that I'm getting with that, and I think it's working for me. I like the way I used to do it you know, with the foundation first, but I don't know. It's a personal preference and I think I kind of prefer this side. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm curious to hear what you think. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.